All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're dealing with rain, thunderstorms, all that nonsense again. Taking a break from the trailer, we'll get back onto it when I get outside, but I can't get out there right now. It's just, the weather is not cooperating with me. So I thought, what better time than to, let's get, I got this heater for the garage that I've been using as my paint work space. Let's get it installed. I gotta move all this out of the way. We're gonna put it on the wall over there and try to get a little heat in here. That'd be nice. for a few months. This is the Propane Mr. Heater 30,000 BTU Infrared. Don't know what that means, but hopefully it means I get a little bit of heat in here. Um, the garage is attached and insulated to the home, so it doesn't typically get below 32 in here, but it gets down to it. Winter and it's real cold out. It'd be nice, can we get 45 degrees in here maybe in a reasonable time? So that's what I'm working with this. Just take the chill off. Looks like it's packaged pretty well. Yeah, not sure. That is. The battery, I'm guessing for a remote. Some screws. These look like maybe legs, which I don't think we'll need because I'm putting it on the wall. But we'll see. Yeah, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's looks good. Will it stand? Now I have a little Mr. Heater. I use deer hunting. A little, you know, portable they say one. Works pretty good. That's why I went with this one. And I think you can order this on Amazon or anywhere, really. I don't think pretty much everybody sells this brand. So, warning, warning, will burn. Not much on the back. We've got some instructions here, looks like for lighting. We got thermostat ish, one through five. This is our wall mounting bracket that they provide. And I think it's just as simple as mark locations. And then this looks like on the back here, it just kind of rides in there somehow. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure and get this mounted first, and then we'll go from there. All right, so the instructions say 18 inches from the ground. The mounting bracket has to be a minimal there. It's gotta be at least there. Is there a wall stud in here somewhere? There's one. Be nice, let's see if that bracket will line up into our wall studs. Sure enough. Not too bad. I think that'll work just fine. All right, let's clean up the wall and then uh, let's figure out what kind of connection we need for this thing. Get our line going into the bottom here, right there, but you have to have it regulated. So I think there's a kit you can go pick up to allow me to do such things. Got back from the store and ran into town. I was able to pick this up at the local tractor supply, seven bucks. 
This is a flared 3 8 fitting. This should fit here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some thread uh, seal tape, if you will, only on the side that goes into the appliance, not the flare. You don't need to put any tape or goop on any type of flare fitting, only on the non-flared side. So go ahead and put this on a minute. Make sure you get it on there and then I'm just gonna roll and it kind of sticks to it there like that. Just make sure you cover all the threads. And then just kind of rip it off. That's all there is to it. Torque her down with all the torques. And that is installed. Our 3 ace MPT flare end that will go into the connection we just made. And then our regulator propane tank on the other side. And again, on this side, because it's the flare, you can see that it's kind of cupped in there. So it, when you put it on, it's, there's the flare end of here is gonna it's gonna seal that fitting. Let's go ahead and I should tighten right now quickly here. That's it. Now there was a battery that came with this, a double A battery, and I believe after thinking about it for a minute, this has electronic ignition. Guessing that's what that battery's for. I guess let's get this mounted back on the wall and then get our battery installed. Maybe. Not too shabby. Let's unscrew this and see. Oh, yep. There you go. All right, let's add the battery a minute. Find that. What do we do with that thing? Where'd it go? It's in this pile of extra parts, which is fine. You know, extra parts that are there to, you know, look important but do nothing. Positive side up. Ooh, we got ignition. Watch the little brass igniter. Ignition. Okay, we are just using a standard 20 pound gas grill exchange type tank for this. Got off, pilot. Let's see if the pilot works. Oh, probably gotta hold it down. Should get some lightage. There it is. Ha! Yes! Turn it all the way up and see what happens here. Oh wow. I already feel the heat. It's like right now with the heat. Mostly up here, which is what I kind of thought. That's what I was worried about with that shelf up here. But I think maybe if I move the shelf up slightly higher and then get a fan on it. I'll just plug a fan in and you can buy fan kits for these. But, you know, I already have a little fan I can just use here and do it. So, wow, that feels so good. <laughs> really quiet. Listen. We'll get in there and listen, would you? You hear it? You hear that? No, it's quiet. Can't hear it. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. I know you guys can't hear it, but that door or the wind out there you can just hear it howling. It's about 36 degrees outside. We are at 52.2. Not bad. All right so I thought I'd do a test. I threw a, a little fan up here, a little cheapo. I got that going. There's quite a bit of heat. I feel I can touch it but it's it's pretty warm. So have to keep an eye on that but I just turned the fan on it's definitely warming up in here I want to see if this thermostat will turn off I got it at 
right about two and a half. Let's let it run for five minutes and see what happens. All right, well, I think the fan's actually helping a little bit. It's very comfortable in here now. It's, like I said, it's very gusty outside, 36, 37 degrees. It's mid 50s in here after half hour, 40 minutes. Easily can work in here, do stuff, small projects, whatnot. Uh, defrost the vehicles, you know, whatever you're gonna do. So, happy with that, and I think it's warm enough for a beer, so. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, Mr. Heater Propane, 30,000 BTU. I'll put the links in the description down there of everything that I bought today to make this happen. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed so far. I can definitely be in here without a hat on now, and reasonably feel comfortable. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.